Hello, everybody. This is William Del Pilar, and this is a points on the board clip, your final NFL power rankings for the season. And let's get down to it. At number 10, the Pittsburgh Steelers at 10 and 7. They beat up on the B team Ravens 17 to 10. They end up as the number seven seed, a wild card. Look, the team did exactly what they needed to do in cold weather. They gave, the Ravens gave them all they could handle, but they still lost, and the Steelers did what they needed to do to get in. Now they go and face the Bills in Buffalo. Look, this team is learning how to run the ball. They are a top five rushing offense at this moment, and they are a top five rushing defense. Now, in other categories, they may need a little bit of help there. But once again, the Pittsburgh Steelers at number 10, the Miami Dolphins at number nine. 11 to 6, they lost to the Buffalo Bills. They are the number six seed, a wild card. Look, the Dolphins lost their final two games to superior teams, and they weren't even really able to compete against one of them. They throw up some phenomenal stats, so analysts tend to ignore their injuries along their offensive and defensive lines and secondary, but they are beat up, and now they have to go to Kansas City. But here's an important note. Look, right now they are mediocre, ranked number 17 over the last few games in passing, number 14 in rushing, and most people assume they are top tier at those. Their secondary, ranked number 30th over the last few games. They're a rushing defense, number 22. This team is in a world of hurt. And number eight, the Los Angeles Rams, record 10 and 7. They beat the San Francisco 49ers B team. They are the number six seed, a wild card. Look, this win elevated the Rams to go to Detroit where all the talk is on quarterbacks. Matthew Stafford versus Jared Goff. But this game brought rookie Puka Nakua, always have to look on how to pronounce that, into the record books with rookie records and receptions and receiving yards. Again, they had to Detroit to face a team with, without one of its most clutch receivers, tight end Sam Laporta. Number seven, the Kansas City Chiefs. Look, they are 11-6. They beat up on a Barely beat a terrible Chargers team, but the Chiefs had their B team players, and they're just trying to get to 100%. Their passing offense over the last three games is ranked 24. Granted, this last game did not have Patrick Mahomes, but that is cause for concern. They are number six, and they host the Dolphins. At number six, the Dallas Cowboys, 12-5. and five, They beat up on a Washington Commanders team that had quit. Look, the Cowboys are actually in a good posi position. The last three games, they ranked number two in passing and number 22 in rushing. So they need some help there, and their secondary can't stop anybody, but they have a pretty good rush attack. They are home hosting the Packers, and their veneer dominance ended when the refs gave the Cowboys the victory against the Detroit Lions last week, and we all know all about that. Anyway. Dallas Cowboys at number six, hosting the Packers. At number five, the Detroit Lions, 12 and five. They beat up on the Minnesota Vikings, 30 to 20. They are the number three seed, and they are NFC North champions. And real quick, I apologize. The Cowboys are the number two seed and NFC East champions. So back to the Lions, the number three seed, NFC North champions. Look, you bench your starters or play them dilemma. A lot of teams must face. If you play them, you win, no injuries, you're a genius. If you play them, somebody gets hurt, you're an idiot. Look, that's just how it goes. Tight end Sam Laporta is hurt with a hyperextended knee. I don't think he plays, but they're keeping it open. And wide receiver Khalif Raymond, also a knee injury. They need Laporta in what I would see as a revenge game for Detroit against Matthew Stafford. Look. Golf, Jared Goff has his team rolling. They are ranked number three over the last few games and ranked number 18 in the rush. Their number three ranking is in the passing game. However, their secondary cannot stop anybody, and they're hosting a Rams team that has a top five passing offense at the moment. This could be a high scoring affair. At number four, the Cleveland Browns, 11 to 6. They lost to the Cincinnati Bengals. They're the number five seed, a wild card. Look, the Browns rested anybody, and <laughs> they could this game, so it did not mean anything. They are the number four seed. They have to travel to Houston to face the Texans. And number three, the Buffalo Bills, 11-6. Look, the Miami Dolphins are who they beat up on, and it was a 21-14 win 
that secured them the number two seed in the AFC East champions. They were the only team in my top 10 at number three the last few weeks that had not clinched a playoff berth. Look, the Bills are playing the best football right now outside of the Ravens. They won seven of their last eight. And despite their miscues, they still beat the Dolphins. Look, they are top 10 passing attack team right now over the last three games. 13 in rushing. They are number six against the pass and number 13 against the rush. They are trending in the right direction. They are the number seven seed again, AFC East champions, and they host the Pittsburgh Steelers. Number two, the San Francisco 49ers, who put Sam Darnold and the B team, and they lost to the Los Angeles Rams. Look, they're the number one seed, home field advantage, and NFC West champions. They have a bye this week, and they're just resting their players up, as is our number one team, the Baltimore Ravens. Look, they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers with their B team, just like the Niners. Number one seed home field advantage. They are the AFC North champions, and they are resting their players for their week off. And there you have it, my friends, the final 2023 NFL power rankings for the season. For more information, head on over to grumblingsmedia.com for our Points on the Board podcast, political podcast, entertainment podcast, and great content. Until then, and until next time, I bid you adieu. Hey, everybody, this is Big John from Grumblings Media, and I just want to say thank you for watching our content. If you want to support our efforts here at Grumblings Media, just smash the subscribe button right here, totally free, or just go ahead and consume more of our great content. Click either one of these two boxes.